When the child has a problem, it's most important that we determine what that problem is and the best way to do that is to active listen. So I need to state what feelings you are suggesting to me and what is the problem. So we give that message back to them in the form of a statement. We don't ask a question because often our kids are not in a position to respond and tell us, but we validate how they're feeling and accept that we're then in a position to open them up a lot more and they will give us more information. And slowly you can start to work right down to get to the bottom of their cone and know what is actually at the root of that problem. Could be something very simple, could be something very complex. But if you ask too many questions initially, you're not really going to get the answers. But by validating and by giving a statement, you are upset about X, Y, Z, you've got a better chance of getting more information from them. So when we go for a basic empathy, we're just stating what the feeling is that the child is presenting to us. When we go for primary empathy, we're looking at the feeling plus what they verbally have told us. So we report that back to them in a form of a statement. But advanced empathy, your child actually tells you a lot in that statement. You're not assuming, but you're hearing everything they're saying and you're actually then reporting that back. So you're giving a much more accurate account of what's going on in their world. Advanced empathy is quite challenging to do. So I always say we start with the basic and the primary and that's fantastic. Your kids start to open up. But as teenagers, it becomes a lot more complex and you really have to understand what's going on in their world or try and have a good shot at working out what it is. Thank you.